Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones, where last episode we finally got around to some supports for our party as they enter chapter 17, the River of Regrets. With innocent villagers at peril, we try to ferry them to safety as we push towards another encounter with Leon. I've just realised, did I put him in range now? Okay, cool. It's this guy we're going to have to kill in the next turn, which means I'm not going to be able to promote because of his javelin. So that sucks. I mean, still these ones I actually need to deal with. I want Eilika to fight them, but they hurt so much. Technically, I want Eilika to take the axe guy in the back. But look at that, silver axe, 25 damage. I mean, I can basically just walk forward and... and splat people at this point. If I want to. Or I can let them come onto me. Shall I splat that one? Yeah. Why not? The other one's uh, Silver Sword as well, right? Splat him! Oh! Super splat him, because of course he's got stupid critical because he's Berserker. Never fear! Berserker Ross is here! Right, what is your your spell attack is 12 or critical of 8. If I move a frame into the forest, life will be okay. I could barrier someone and move them on as well. Let's just farm Larashel's experience. We'll put a frame over here. And give him a javelin. Hopefully, Miss, Mrs. will attack a frame. But he's got ranged weapons, so why would she? In the meantime, Brave Axe Guy cannot attack any further. So what I could do is I have... No spells that can help. So... That's my fault. Um... <laughs> now, where do I want to drop these guys? Down here? Would here be safe? I mean, I kind of just want to spread out some troops at this point. Oh, I can't take that guy? That guy's too heavy. Did not think that would be a thing. I could put, put one of the kiddos on a bridge. Stay on that bridge. It'll be fine. rescue myself, but I can't take the old man. The old man's too heavy. Silly heavy old man. I just want to take them somewhere and put them down. I don't know where we'll be safe or where people might spawn. Which really shouldn't have picked them up, to be honest. Being completely honest, really shouldn't have picked them up. I think everyone's fine. I don't need to do anything else this turn. In a sense. I kind of just want Alika to be near and around for things in the future. Let's move you back here for the time being. You're out of range of everything after all. I think we can give as well. really don't know where to move them, and that's my problem. It's what we've got incoming that we're worried about. Oh, you can double that guy? Well, that's a shame. Oh, now, now you're going for Josh too? Damage of 12, a hit of 26. And he gets the double before I even get to go. Killing edge, Joshua. Oh, you, you figured it out. Nice. Well played. The 
This guy. This guy. Well, that's him nice and met his death. Cool man can now promote. And he's got skill and say extra speed, that's not bad. Right, here comes the spellcasters. Now this is what was expected. <laughs> but this is Tana we're talking about. Just waiting for experience. A guiding ring is ours. Now what will the other guy do, however? Six damage of rubbish. Icy chilly winds that never gonna hit. Feel free to die at the hands of Madame Tons. I do have an easy whip ready, yeah. Tana levels up and gets one luck, but that's still better than Joshua, so I'm not gonna hate too badly. Aha, I just realized another problem. Let's report that back to base. Report that back, yeah. Ah, uh, critically wounded. Blimmin' javelin guy. Oh, we got another set of mages. Oh, hello. Same set, more or less. Again, another set we'd want Tana to be taken care of. Right, I don't think I can promote this turn. Because Mr. Javelin here can pretty much attack everyone. So I have to go and just waste experience again. That is a thing. In the meantime, Seth can get up and close to personal and kill one of them. It'd be Silver Lance that would have to get the kill. And Cormag would have to take on number two. Unless I pull the children out of there like super bad crazy. But to be honest, he just needs to die. Then this guy's going to come in and hit... It's going to be a lot of wasted experience potential. You know? So is there any way I can perform a, a proper block instead? Okay, I can kill this guy this way. Like making it a longer range for them to get round would be a good idea too. So this guy's got a movement of 7. I think if I take, and this guy's got like a range of quite a bit, I could just take the kids. It would neuter some of my units for a period of time. It makes things not so bad. A silver axe over here. We'd hit once. Put Joshua in here this time. With his stacked gains of wholesomeness. Oh, you only hit once. That's actually really good. Go for it, a frame. Just don't get hit back. There we go. That'll promote him. Right, we got strength, skill, and HP. At least waste experience isn't as waste of Taravani around. You are correct. Oh, I didn't even look at these guys. Right, two Lancemen have appeared. And this guy can reach two. Essentially, Garrett needs to be killing every one of these. And that will work. So if we move Garrett to here, we'll run out of axe charges. We'll be able to kill him off with, like, on the next turn. I think, then, by the look of it, we might be able to make a base round the shop. Might seriously be our best option. Pull the kids away towards the shop.
I can defend so much better from there. I gotta watch out the battle out of range though, however. Alright, if Natasha moves, he can get placed there. Man, Eilika cannot reach. Eilika's like, I wanted one of these kills. Peace! Peace! No, Elika, you will not have any kills. Attack of 19, attack of 23. Please, Mom! Can't even get on a mountain. See, this is the other guy I've got to worry about, to be honest. Swordmaster being able to move into a nasty position would be very, very nasty for us. So gotta watch out for him. But really, it's kind of a case of sending Uwen. Oh, I could send Tana to here. I mean, the reason is with the Javelin. With the Javelin. She'd take on the Nosferatu guy as well. With the Javelin. I could actually kill this guy first of all. There's pretty much a load of other things. Not the one shot. Fire for two. Can I get that many kids out of there? I need a tanky mage like Sorin. Win's not that bad. I'm not gonna make the kids work at the shop. You're still trying to understand Oz's actual percentage chance discussion. Anything less than 50% is less likely than the value it says due to double rolling, like averaging or something like that. I can't remember how it works exactly, but anything above the 50% has a higher than... So if it's 51%, it probably more likely has a 53%. It's just weird. It's just weird. Should we leave it at that? Alright, so Deltana's free to help if she needs to. Let's check Javelin Man's range again, so that's the maximum. This is the problem, I've got nothing to heal. Either. Everyone else is pretty good. HP's fine, everything's good. No one can even reach Larachelle over here, so I might- oh, no. Come on, Larachelle! Barrier! That'll help. You yeah, have a barrier. Get some experience. Spam that barrier. That wasn't even much more experience than a hill. But at least it's something for her to do, I guess. Speed and defense and luck. Hopefully you weren't in range of that. Not that the healers seem to want to die anymore from that kind of thing, so that's good. I mean, I don't have to drop this turn either. We know the guy can only get to there. Let's ferry the kids on out! And leave... One... Hmm... So Seth can rescue here. And then run the rest of the way down. And that leaves just this little kiddo. Which, to be honest, we only need to, like, pull one spot. I kind of want Tana to be there. For that. Thank you very much for the gift sub, Judicious. And I'm pretty sure there's another gift sub earlier that I missed, so thank you very much. Alright, let's drop kiddo. Let's drop... What's the word? Let's drop the lady here. Should be fine, right? Successfully ferried one person. So annoying, I want Eilika to get a kill, you know? So I'm like, just going, what options do I have? Alright, well, Javelin guy can't reach him. That Lance guy can't reach either. So we're all good there. Technically, now, what we can do. 
is promote Cormag in this spot with a javelin. What that will do is, uh, well, basically they can only attack Cormag, and Cormag's going to get more powerful. What's there to dislike about that, you know? In fact, I could promote him right next to the guy there, so I could pull him onto some other units onto him. Now let's just do it with these two. So would I go with a javelin? So if you attack this guy with a javelin, how much damage do you do? Not much. But it's not a bad idea, you know? Just get him promoted here and go with that. We want to pull the other things. Judicious, thank you for gifting Leslie as well. Thank you very much. Alright, let's finally get the promote that we've been after. We're free of every evil spot by look of things. Let's go to here and do it. Javelin on, Elysian Whip on. Trinica on! Alright, a Wyvern Lord or a Wyvern Knight? Well, the Wyvern Knight we've looked at before, it has a skill pierce that can bug very rarely and just crash your game. We'd gain access to swords though if we go for Wyvern Lord. So it's basically swords versus pierce. Pierce is obviously going to be really good, but I don't, you know, we've got another unit that we can turn into that unit, so Wyvern Lord will go. He's a load. And hopefully you're going to gain some extra defense stats to be able to fight this guy. His look didn't really change so much. Two strength, two defense, two skill, and an extra bit of con is not bad. He's got 18 strength. He can now use swords. I can now move again, because why not? It looks like the guy on top of it changed the most, to be honest. Cormag's look. So bring him on then. I've got all that extra strength. We should be okay. Let's put Tana into a more interesting position, shall we? Let's pull the first two. Tana should be safe there. This guy's going to cross and get killing bladed. Ephraim's ready to promote. It's just Alika. It's just nothing for her to do. Oh yeah, and Natasha. What should, we, what should we do with you, Natasha? I'm sure we can heal someone. Only with physics, can we? I could warp. I could literally warp them to there just to get it to done faster. So I can get my units back again. Oh, I can get a simple heal. Lovely. So we need to kind of... Guard... The peasants, I'd say, in the back a little bit more. And keep a contingent with them. Alright, Axman's decided to go a different way now. I can kind of understand that. Let's let the steel axes fall. Judicious is gifted to Hyongl or Hyong Lepi. There we go. Oh, another critical coming out with Garrick. Thank you very much. It's the sub train. Sub train. Well, this will save those uh, Steel Axe ch charges, won't it? Except we're using them on really weak foes. Garrick, he's a one-man fighting force. He's his own army. Thankfully, we didn't kill him in a weird way. I guess. Strength plus one, not bad. More HP. It just seems that uh, you're built for that kind of thing, are you? Well, here comes Cormag, the indestructible. I thought that was a crit then. Oh, that's a crit! His, his, his dragon mode is a lot more diverse in its own movements now. We just need one strength on Sun. It's just one strength, please. All of these guys are 19 HP. They'd all be one shots. Right, at least we're pulling them the way we want. So it looks like we've got a mix of reinforcements from the castle and reinforcements from the left hand side. If we just weather the storm and farm the experience, we can then go beat up Leon. 
I'm gonna create again. No? Sad times. I don't even think Eily Kick can reach. Alright, so there's some more reinforcements. Anything else? Oh no, Ayaka can reach. Great. That's a kill for Ayaka at least. One kill. Still Axeman coming down. We'll get him when he gets there. Uh, this warrior that's just hanging out. Nice. Works out perfectly, doesn't it, really? I mean, we've got the Lance Reavers, so we can get the one-shot kill. The hit chance of you can't hit me, na 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 na. Nerdy level 19. Right. It's time to promote yet again. Ephraim, can you get into there? That would be nice. You're about to be promoted, sir. So, what's coming in? Just a normal steel lance and another steel lance. Let's put you here. Switch you yourself to a Steel Lance, I guess? He is level 20, right? Yeah, he is. Oh god. Yes, yes he is. Yes, he's killed enough units. It's time to use the Solar Brace. Let's do this. Our first Lord promotion is not Alica! He got a horse! It's my dream! Now I can beat all optimal Fire Emblem. Alright, getting two strength, three skill, two speed, two defense, five res, and two con. Of course, he's a lord, so those stats are ridiculous. Ephraim! 16 defense, 10 res. Pretty good. We got a house. I'll take that. Alright, we got this guy coming in. He's out of range of that there. We got this guy coming in too. Now here's the question. He can move too, so he's gonna move to there. If I move to here, to maybe pull the horse my way instead? Because I think I can. Do you think he'd go for me? Equip the Zambado, kill him there, then move over and kill this guy? Hey, give it a shot. Doesn't hurt. Lure them in and all. So we've also got this Axeman who's wanting a little bit of trouble. Now here's, here's what I wonder. Do I retreat and let some units go on to Ephraim, considering you're already level super? Probably yes. I mean, they can weapon triangle you now. Oh god, no. This way Ephraim can get a bit more in the way of kills. So that's not too bad. So this guy can reach to there. And not to here. Shall I drop this one here? Yeah, let's drop him there. It just makes more sense to have him not center map, because that's just stupid. I could defend them much better from here. Shall I drop and get Seth ready for battle? Yes. I can always shuffle around with someone in the future. I should put them in each of these bush places. In fact, don't these look like design for you to like move the troops back towards? They do, right? Almost on purpose. I thought you could use a normal heal. Alright, what do we do next? Barriers again? Try and get all the experience I can get. I like to heal Garrick. That makes sense, to be honest. Yeah, heal Garrick, get a barrier. That'll work. Sam, do not lose more hair. I'll try not to. What? One HP? One experience, even. So all the barrier is going to be four now. Right, so it's 17 experience per barrier? 
guess it's a level a little bit faster each time, but... Right, so we have Mr. Swordmaster here. Now, he can't actually get to this spot, so what I could do is turn him from there. That's a nice way of doing things. Or I could retreat and let him hit Owen. Also another option. Or we can see who he attacks. So I'm guessing he can move to here. Surely, if I wasn't standing here. It's a forest. Ah. Oh, you can move six spots. Don't lie to me. You can move for that forest. You can move to there if you want. Weirdly, if I move Tana into here... And Uwen in to, like, heal her... Will that mean the heal staff's equipped? So he can't attack back? I'm actually wondering that. Hmm. How does that work out? Look, he floats it! He's a floater! Alright, well... I'll leave you here for now. I want to see who you come to attack, more or less. Let's quit the Iron Lance. See if I can feed a kill to... Early care if the guy chooses to come this way. So no one's in danger. All the little greenies are happy on their new island near a shop. So they can buy some nice sausage rolls and wait for the battle to be over. The good, the good times, you know. And I guess I can use my mobile units to try and wipe out the rest of the map. Ephraim, you're going for, eh? Ephraim? With his new horse animation? This horse likes to take its time for attacks, you know. Did you know that attacks all in real life do more damage if you do a little twirl? This is the truth. If you do a roll or twist round, it's ultimate damage, you know. Alright, no, so no, he still is equipped with his spell. And of course, we've nuked the hit chance by just being in the forest, so that's not bad. Who wouldn't kind of needs to build his anima a bit more? Did I learn that from Kung Fu? No, I learned it from pro wrestling. You can watch all the silly men just go, Wee! <laughs> Must be quite fun. Alright, let's pull two again then. It doesn't hurt. Let's build up my anima skill levels. We can send Tana off on a new job now. And we could even kill the swordsman here with Eilika. So that's not too bad. Swordsman. Sigland Bow! Oh my goodness, that's really powerful. Oh wow. Can only kill enemy if using Seeklins. Can kill enemy using anything. <laughs> There's a slight bit of disappointment you'll give me here. I don't really want to use the Seeklin charges on what is essentially a noob, <laughs> if you can put it that way. So what I'll do is I'll pull him back to this spot here. I mean, I could just attack, but these guys will advance this way rather than the way I want them to go. I mean, I'm only being hit for 10. He's got no crit chance. He's got barely any hit. I mean, we'll be fine. What am I cowardy about? Go level up from the attack damage as well. That's a nice way of doing things. You could get a crit. That would be great. If you get hit, by the way, I hate you. Alright, level 19. I think I gain speed and a little bit of extra luck. Strength defense, strength defense. Calling strength defense. 
I'll stop this guy on the bridge. Alright, we have this one through. Let's see how well you do. Wow, you're really not killing him, are you? You get hit for 17. Just wondering, can I actually legitimately soften this guy up with anyone first without killing them with the other guys? The answer to that is gonna always be no. Someone else will have to take the kill if Joshua fails. Go on, you got the crit killing edge. You can do it, Josh. I believe. You gotta save the people! Save the people! I thought Olive was called the streamer because he wets his pants often due to all the jump scares. Don't level up and find a secret place at the same time, kids. You go through too many pairs of pants. Alright. Who do I pull on to there to get experience? Well, pretty much everyone's promoted now, so that's great! Mission success. You know... I wonder what the hit chance on these guys is. Probably, like, really high. I don't think putting them somewhere like that's going to help. So we can either just keep Ephraim in the bush bushes here and let him destroy everything. Really, yeah, we actually need Alika, like, completely over the other side. <laughs> in fact, I need to take your iron sword. Actually, wait a second. You're the supply! Oh, I can use a steel sword. That'll work. That'll work a lot. Basically, the frame is where all the action is. And, uh, nothing else can really happen. Just a bit of a disappointment, isn't it? I also want to get you healed. Got to get my healing experience. This is the problems of my life currently. As long as no one comes in with a javelin, this is going to be quite a boring map. There's got to be something else that happens, surely. Not just Leon's around. I actually haven't checked out the what I need to do this map, so that's funny. Right, we got some extra magic. It's not going to be bad considering when she promotes, she's going to basically become an offensive unit. Keep casting Barrier. She'll have the most res ever. We'll farm that experience somehow, Larishel. A couple of warps and I'd be really good. What is actually in this shop? I guess we should check. Did I check already? A restore? That's actually probably not bad because I've only got a couple of charges on my restore left. What ranks are these? D. Do you know what? I am going to buy one. Just in case, you know. Thank you for doing my shopping. Is this basically one family? Right, it's basically defeat boss, so if I kill Leon, I'll run out of reinforcements and I won't be able to farm for days. This is my personal problem. What's his hit and crit chance against you? Really high still! I can take him on and take him out, that's not a problem, but... What I need is the removal of the crit chance. What's his actual attack damage? Oh, four. So what am I crying about? He'll hit me for 12 if he crits. Why do I have to be worried? Let's kill the Swordmaster. <laughs> You can go as far as that. I don't want you going that way. Let's kill this bloke. 
I'm gonna laugh at being worried. That's a fair few units pulled there. Let's bring Seth up to where Alika is, just as a kind of extra bit of backup. Amelia as well. Garrick's had a quite a bit of action here, so now you're you're on kid duty. So we got two more units we need to get experience to promote. You usually sound worried in this game, others. Yeah. It's fine then. He hit me. See, it's the most spins. That's all you need. All the spins. He missed. He actually hit! How did he hit? Tana, show him how a critical's like. Usually on the first attack though, that's what we go for. Tana too good. Strength! Right, that's a really good level. I was doubling Tana anytime soon then. Ah, here they come. So essentially, we want it where a unit can take on the reinforcements on each turn. Nuke them, give us experience, and then we can finish them out. What I've done is I've pulled this guy. Oh no! Hit of zero. One in four chances not equal zero, but it's not even one in four, it was less, it was like one in five. According to the rules the role system of the game. Another Mag and Luck. Some extra speed would be great, but you did get your speed with your promotion. And don't tell me the kids are gonna turn into some kind of like evil monster. That'd be funny. I don't want to be anywhere near you, just in case you move, which is not going to happen, but you know how it is. We want a Lance Reavers, essentially. We want we want both of these guys to attack Eilika. Actually, no, we want one of these guys to attack Eilika. Why would we want both when we can have just one? So if I move back to here, I could move up. I'm not going to reach there, though. I mean, I don't want to kill Leon. It's basically the weirdness of it all. It's that I'd love to kill him, but I don't want to kill him. Oh god, I didn't do the thing, did I? Can't just move you there. I have to equip you the right weapon. Oh, we got support here. Well, let's do the uh, the sorting out of things too. So we need to put the Lance Reaver at the top, and that'll be good, and now support. Seth, what brings you, Princess? How fair you, Seth? Ever since the castle fell, you've been protecting me, despite your own injuries. Well, that I could have served you better, my lady. You were not meant to see such things, but my wound is closed up, and it does not affect my Lance arm. Wait, show it to me. Look, the wound is closed, but it is not yet fully healed. Still? It's been a while. What made you think of this, my lady? Your fighting is as superb as ever, Seth. But when you raise your lance, I see a flicker of pain on your face. As if you were merely enduring it. But it only lasts a moment. Perhaps it is all just my imagination. Your Highness, please put your mind at ease. My wound is healed. There is no reason to worry. I would that were so, Seth. Please not overextend yourself. I beg this of you. Without you, I may not be able to continue this quest. You praise me too much, my lady. A support! I'm not near the castle. I can go over to there. It'll be fine, but I don't want to. I don't want to go over there. I want to kill all the reinforcements. Killing Leon seems to be really easy. Is it even Leon? I mean, it's just... I bet something appears if I approach. Well, let's just lance this guy down. This is the slow map for a different reason. Again. 
Alright, no javelins. Just two steel lances. Ephraim can fight these guys for days and completely destroy them now, so what's the problem, you know? We'll just continue on with our experience farming heal train. Just like that map in Reckon Ken, where people just kept spawning down the bottom right, like, like two guys repeatedly. For experience farm forever. We're just gonna leave this Berserker alive. What's the point in killing him? He's got a big axe, you know. I don't wanna mess with that. Oh, except for the fact that I'm really quite good against him, even with the crit rate. Uh, now I'm questioning, do you think they'll go with me go for me because I'm the easy target? Let's move it back. Oh, one on you. If someone's really gonna attack you, then that's stupid. And still most of my forces are concentrated here as the defender guard. Just don't kill anyone, Ephraim. Joshua needs to get Essentially, this is just us trying to get things promoted at this point. I want all my units promoted. Well, apart from the healers, they're not—they're going to take what longer. Let's put it that way. Right, you can't hit me, but I can't kill you unless a miracle occurs. Nice. You still remember that you agonizingly slow march around and eventually into Nui Baba's manor? Oh, the fun of that map. So much fun. Are you going to crit? Crit on the first hit. I'm kind of caught between two situations because I'd rather Ephraim not kill them. And Joshua get into position. Wow, so this just repeats. That you even get stronger troops at all? Might well, give it another go, see if you can get the kill. It'd be nice. No sorry. What was that? I muted myself for a second there? I doubt it. I can hear your blatant lies in your heart. <laughs> I can't get a physic. What kind of range does physic have again for you? Oh, you don't have physic. No, you do. There's no one in range to heal. Yeah, that's a thing. Ah. Oh. Right, well, I can use that kill, but she's not going to get it. So let's give it someone else. I mean, you're the lowest level, technically. Who could kill Leon nicely at this point? I reckon Tana could just walk over and smack him. I won't be able to see in this attack turn, that's for sure, but... It's highly likely. Let's just see who these guys choose to attack, eh? Seth over here's got a date in the meantime. I like how Melee got slightly faster. So what do we do? Push up now? One of them will attack us, the other one will still be alive. We can get Joshua in to do some fighting too. We'll keep these three, because they can at least kill three units. I don't know if I want to advance too far. There's 
is my endless conundrum. At least the turns are fast. I could be grinding supports when I think about it. Okay, that's a bit more than I expected. For the amount of units we have at our disposal to fight. So the question is, who do we kill? Do you reckon Tana could just straight kill Leon? I mean... It can't be that hard, can it? Not with Tana, anyway. Yeah, they should have a preference for Uwin. In the weirdest way! Because they've got weapon triangle on him. But he just kills them with fireballs. How to build up that? Anima level. These are weird reinforcement rounds, man. How many reinforcement rounds are there? Right. So Tana versus Leon. Well, it seems that Leon has a super uber defense. Which sucks. But against Fenrir, he's pretty good. But then he can NOS at some point in time. What's his actual stats then? His defense must be quite high. 17! You're kidding me. Wow. And he's got 19 res, so you're not really going to get him with Spellcaster. Unless you would use Flux. Oh no, was it? Not Flux. Uh, a silly one. You know what I mean. I don't know what, what I mean, but... Man, you have some, uh... That's some outrageous defense you have there. I mean, I can definitely hit you. Essentially, I want to heal her over there to cast Physic from range then. That would be a good idea. Right, well, first of all, let's take care of our newest problem. So I can block the gate. So essentially, if I take out the Draco Knights, I'm good for the rest. The problem is I don't think that Joshua can. Unless he crits. Again, he's going against a weakness weapon. And the guy's hit for pretty hard on him. Now again, I can Physic, so I can top him up. Ephraim can definitely take down one. That's not even in doubt. More or less, it's just about kind of culling the numbers. I, I need to cake out the Dragon Knights just because the way they end up threatening the healers. This guy's not that strong, but again... So essentially, if Joshua doesn't crit, we can be in a weird bit spot of trouble. That said, this guy does 17, this guy does 14, so he survives no matter what, 31 HP, if he doesn't get the kill, and he gets a Physic afterwards. But we're hoping with 42 critical rating, he will kill this guy, but he needs to hit him twice anyway, so he needs one of the two attacks to be criticals. This sucks. I wish I had a word.